What's up guys? This is Ronnie. Welcome back to our channel Total Technology. So today I'm gonna continue the Neo 4J tutorial. Uh, probably this is going to be yes, it is. This is going to be part two. So those who are actually not following that tutorial, please go to our YouTube channel and visit uh, the playlist with Neo 4J complete tutorial. I have only published one uh, tutorial, so this is going to be the continuation of that uh, series. So this is part two. So I've just uh, highlighted the topics which I'm, which I'm gonna continue in this section. So the topics are listed over here. This is create single node without label, search all nodes uh, created, search specific node when no row level is available, creating multiple nodes when uh, using uh, for each loop, sorry. Search one specific node from multiple available nodes again when there is no label is mentioned and again search one specific node. Uh, sorry, this is going to be search more than uh, one specific node from multiple available nodes when no row level is when no row level is available okay so this is going to be like today's uh, like topics so there are total six topics uh, probably uh, uh, there will be a bit of coding but again don't worry i'll be uh, explaining each and every one uh, of the piece of each and every piece of code okay so let me just first neo 4j like neo 4j desktop think it's open I'm not sure what happened. Yes, it's coming. So I'm just starting the database over here. I think I've already explained this uh, like uh, like steps in my last video. Okay, started. Let me copy this thing copy it, and then just let me go to browser okay it started to let me write the code over here let me check first how many nodes are there match in don't worry i'll explain okay there is no no Nodes. So our first topic is like create single node without row level. Okay, so this is going to be like create and after that you can use this thing and this is going to be create one node one node and again you can So what is going to be the code for this? That's it okay so let me just this create in you can make it like this this is working create okay what is our second topic search all nodes which are created so probably it is going to be uh, okay it's 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 only one node so when i do a search like match return n this is one node this is one node and just remember one thing this n could be anything match x this is just one name 
x okay so let me just copy this thing and okay such specific node when node level is available to do that we need to create another like thing let me run this thing so now i have created two nodes so to verify that just check match in and return and see it, it should return two things see there are two things now interesting thing i'm having two nodes but i want to return this node so how to identify that node so when you are not uh, again if you are giving any label or if you are not uh, assigning in label every time by the system it is automatically populated one id this is the unique identifier see for this one it is 41 and for this one is it is 40 so when you are not having any label it is uh, like it is possible it is again possible to like search that node using this id value like 40 and 41 for example i'm having 40 and 41 and 40 so i need the 40 how to do that so match n where id n equals to 40 return n see this is 40 so let me just take this thing over here to make it more like uh, uh, understand well so let me just create another uh, like thing like 41 so it, it should return the other thing so this is now 41 so this is clear now right whenever you are uh, creating and notes irrespective of whether you uh, like provided already provided label or not it is always uh, it is always that uh, system will uh, give one uh, id and by that id you can easily identify any of or identify your search any of the available nodes because this id is going to be the unique identifier okay next thing is that search specific node it is done creating multiple nodes using for each loop so this is very interesting for example you want to create 10 nodes or 15 nodes or 100 nodes how to do that for doing that for each then bracket then i in range for example i would like to create 100 nodes or probably 50 nodes so this is going to be 0 to 49 and then this syntax the just you have to remember the syntax then the normal thing create and created 50 nodes so if you now if you search now so let's check match n return and so there will be total 52 because uh, earlier i have created two nodes and now 50 displaying 52 nodes okay so this is the code this is like for each this is very much self-explanatory for each and inside that you have to create two parentheses one opening closing and inside that i in range is very much like python and you have to just uh, give this thing create in simple okay so next thing is that search one specific node from multiple nodes so this is again very much simple like this thing like for we would like to search this 108 thing how to do that the same thing right this is like so the code is simple and the same but i just created to make it easier for understanding so all these are hands-on thing it will give you like some sort of confidence and it will give you some sort of like encouragement so that you can go and uh, start your own coding or creating your own database so that is why i'm just creating this thing so once the video is done i will put this thing uh, in the video description as well and last thing is that 
search more than one specific node from multiple avenue window okay it means for example uh, you are having this many nodes but you want to search this and this okay 96 and 94 how to do that for do that for doing that uh, match in where id n equals to one was 94 or and another was 96 96 return in c 94 96 94 so this is again very much self-explanatory like match in this was like earlier i just added this or thing and after that this return part so we have completed like our session but the last thing is that how to delete all these things okay so delete all existing nodes see everything has deleted okay so there is another thing but i'm not going to consider that there is something called detach detach means if right now our node is our nodes are not having any relationship so if we just delete the nodes it's okay but you are having if you are having some sort of relationship then you have to use another keyword detach it means match and detach delete n so we'll explain that in our later video so right now in our system it's again clean so i just uh, complete the whole things and i have deleted just to show you guys how to we can delete how you can delete and again just to make our environment like neat and clean for the next tutorial i have deleted each and everything so let me just quickly go through the uh, like uh, like topics which i have covered already like first one is creating a single node then how to search that node uh, not uh, this not search it is displaying displaying all nodes created then search specific node when row level is not available means using id you can do it creating multiple nodes again search one specific node again from multiple nodes and search specific uh, more than one specific node again when no level is defined you can use id thing and then the last thing is that deleting uh, all nodes and the most important thing is this one like using for each function so uh, that's all guys uh, so this is the part two of this tutorial probably uh, i'll be uploading the next series by today night or probably tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening so that will be new 4 j part three and i'll be going to like uh, go into more deeper detail but again uh, everything will be hands-on i'll be explaining then i'll be writing the queries i'll show you guys and i'll explain you guys so don't worry so my uh, like um, i have i'm going to just give you one advice like whatever till now i have taught just go through it uh, start writing uh, like uh, codes or query the cipher queries so it will give you some sort of understanding and confidence because if you just go through my video or watching my videos it is not going to help you definitely will forget so it's very simple you can see just within 15 or 20 minutes i covered that much of material so just go through it guys and if you start writing the course uh, trust me you will get uh, like you will get excited and you will, you will develop some sort of like uh, uh, inner like encouragement to do or learn learn more so and in that way you will enhance your skill so just go through it and start writing your course install neo4j download it and start playing aligned with this so i'm just giving you all this course so don't worry about that just start writing it so that's all for today hope to see you in the next video probably today uh, evening or tomorrow and before like uh, logging up just share our videos uh, do subscribe to our channel give like or or if you do not like the video just do let us know via your comment if you want to add something if you want us to add something if you want us to like modify or customize or create or like uh, create or upload or 
create some other contents in a different way or if you're having some good ideas or positive ideas or if you want that we should uh, change our type or our like uh, tutorials in a different way just do let us know via our uh, facebook uh, page or you can directly mail me and if you have any complaint about our videos and all you can always welcome to give us comment via youtube video comment so that's all guys and hope to see you in the next video bye bye